A spiritual man who knows his life purpose will discipline his life to where his choices will support his purpose. So with this knowledge, he knows that his girlfriend, his family cannot come first before his purpose because he knows that if he doesn't give that to them, he will be a weak and divided man, an unfulfilling man. You know, boys, I really try my best to stay away from making spirituality videos simply put because... It's a very subjective practice, right? It's going to vary from person to person. You know, it's a lot of going within and understanding yourself, right? And unlike Christianity or Islam, where you've got the Old Testament and the New Testament, there's not like a literature timeline that you can follow for spirituality, right? It's kind of thwarted. So this makes it confusing for like newcomers or someone who's trying to become more spiritually in tune, right? However, I will say I've been studying the subject for like six, seven months now. And in this video, I'm going to give you three points that anyone at any spiritual time can follow to become a more spiritually in tune man, okay? Now, granted, this is, you know, my subjective truth. So yours and mine might vary. You know, if you have a different opposing view, let me know down below. I'd love to hear it, but let's just hop right into the video. So the whole thing about spirituality to me is just knowing who you are inside and out. And you have this thing, what's called the core. And the core is the nucleus of your life, right? What a spiritual man does is he commits to following his core and the ongoing process as it goes throughout his life, right? Because in your life, who you are is going to change, right? Depending on who you live with, your circumstances, your environment, a lot of these factors will play in how you change. But a spiritual man knows his core, commits to the ongoing practice of following his core and understanding what he is inside and out. This is a man who knows his deepest fears and knows his deepest desires and he acknowledges them and he embraces them and he still moves on. They are very aware and conscious of their source of attention. When they're conscious about where their attention is, they recognize that, hey, I am moving in order of my deepest desires or my deepest fears, but they know that every action they do is conscious and they're aware of it. Ultimately, they are very in tune with themselves. They know their deepest core and they live inside and out. Now, two practices that you can implement into your life to help you with this is just journaling and meditation. And you're going to laugh because I talk about these subjects all the time, but getting into the habit of writing down your thoughts and feelings is a very powerful practice because what it's going to show you is where is your attention and where is your focus going, right? What are you writing about, right? Because that's what your mind is focused on. So ultimately, when people are passionate about something, that's where a lot of their intention and focus go. So that can give you a good indicator of what your deepest core is. But if it's not, you know that, oh, shit, this is not what I'm really interested in. You need to redirect your focus and energy into another aspect, right? Simply put with meditation, meditation is going to get your thoughts and feelings, your life energies all in order on the same page, right? The mind, body, soul connection can really help you understanding who you are inside and out. So meditation and journaling for sure, guys. Number two, it's knowing your purpose. Now, if you're watching this, you probably have a very masculine core. And how do I know that? Ask yourself, would you rather have the perfect intimate relationship right now or achieve your highest goal at the moment? And the answer is your highest goal. You have a masculine core and the whole definition of masculine and its root is just purpose and a spiritual man knows his purpose inside and out. Your mission is your priority and without it, your core will feel very empty. A spiritual man knows that his purpose is going to give him an absolute truth and absolute depth of the world and an incredible passion, energy in how he moves and operates. He's very inspiring to other people. A spiritual man who knows his life purpose will discipline his life to where his choices will support his purpose and he will get rid of or minimize distractions and destructions. Even if you have a good job, even if you've got a loving girlfriend and family, this cannot substitute your core. And without it, you can feel lacking or empty at some points. So with this knowledge, he knows that his girlfriend, his family cannot become first before his purpose because he knows that if he doesn't give that to them, he will be a weak and divided man an unfulfilling man. Spiritual man is 100% committed to his purpose. Last but not least, number three, it's giving love in everything you do. A spiritual man is going to give his deepest genius to the world and unapologetically offer his fullest gifts with pure 
love, okay? He is going to give 100% in everything he does, and he's not going to hold anything back. And he knows that he's going to get some backlash from this or some negative responses, but with an open heart, he still gives it with everything he does. Now, guys, love is a very powerful emotion. When you experience love, you get feelings of joy, pleasantness, peacefulness, gratitude. These are all very powerful emotions that really open your heart. And what a spiritual man knows is that the ultimate reason for he does anything is so that he can live to his deepest core and his deepest truth and experience the freedom and love that comes with that while also giving the world himself fully and whatever he does he's 100% committed to it work sex purpose he's going to give his all 100% prepared to hold nothing back so number three is giving love in everything you do all right, guys, so that's going to do for me today, man. If y'all like this style of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, let me know down below any differing points or any additional points that you would like to add in the spirituality. I'm always down to learn and listen to y'all. Just three really simple points that anyone of any spiritual experience can start implementing into their life to make them more spiritually in tune. Right now, when doing so, this is going to make you a very polarized figure. Either it's going to support your deepest core truths or it's not. And it's very simple to understand what's good and what's bad for you, okay? So, guys, I'm out of here. Have a great day. Deuces.